Welcome back, fellow cloud chasers. I want to say I really, I really, really appreciate everybody that uh, that watched my last video and gave me some feedback. Um, that pertains to the video. I, I appreciate all of it. And I don't want you guys to hold back anything. Let me know how I can make this experience better for you. So, today we're going to talk about food. I wanted to talk about something that was more tangible. I feel like the ego, you know, a lot of people know about it, but it, it doesn't really correlate with a lot of people in their life right now. And we all need fuel, food, to keep on our journey. So I figured why not talk about food, you know. Uh, excuse the hair. I haven't got my hair finished braiding, getting uh, braided. So... It's a little tacky hair day. So, food. I want to make this, you know, to the point and and uh, you know, again, tangible for anybody tuning in, so that this can bring sustenance to your life today. You know, something that you can relate to. So, I'm I'm, I'm gonna talk about food. And really, what I really want to dissect and just delve into is what we shouldn't be eating. You know, now a lot of people come to me, especially the people that, you know, criticize. And again, we need people like that. When people come to you and they try to criticize, you don't always negate it. Because some of it, at least a lot of it, is you manifesting that so that you can... Like, that situation is manifesting for you so that you can see it in a particular light. So don't shun these experiences, especially people who come to you. Dwell into it and seek why they have these perceptions of you. So me personally, you know, people will come up to me and they say, you know, even though you eat healthy, all the food is genetically modified. They put poisons on it, etc., etc. I know that. But see, if you ask me if I was rather have my whole arm or my pinky cut off, I would tell you my pinky. Now I do know within the system, we are hit at every angle and it is hard, you know, to keep afloat, but that doesn't mean you can't. Now, let's say I am in that position. If I'm on the other side and I'm that person say, you know what, you're eating crap, you know, there's no point because in today's day and age, everything and everywhere is ubiquitous. No matter where you go, you're gonna find crap, okay? But if you tell me this right here, hot pocket, you know, and this, let's say this might have pesticides. This is a mango. It has four, six, nine, one. And for anybody that uh, buys a lot of produce, four, if it starts with a four, it's conventionally grown. If you want organic, it's going to have a nine on it. Always remember that. And I believe three is genetically modified. We'll delve into that in another video. But to get to the point, this right here is not food. This is a concoction of all kinds of, uh, you know, not even ingredients, I won't even call it that, just substances, things that's put into this and it's marketed as food. This is not food, this is a concoction. If you look at the ingredients, you know, yeah, this, this, is, this is a concoction. Now, if you ask me what this is, this is a mango. Now again, this might not be the holy grail of food, but you gotta work with what you got. You gotta start your race with where you're at and that's the key somebody close to me has been expressing that to me for the longest and i feel like you know i haven't been truly letting that information settle within me that you know i've been trying to you know har harbor everything to get you know so that i can start my race whether it be having a fancy camera computer you know all my business you know having a, a sophisticated truck van and all the latest tools keep waiting you'll never start your race the best way to accomplish something is to just start it just start it right now just start it and when it comes to food this is not food anything that comes in a box first and foremost is not food and eat now again the conventionally grown food and, and whatnot it might not be the best but damn it it is a start I'm, I'm sure that everybody would much rather have their pinky cut off than their whole arm. So, this is a process. And 
I want to give you guys this for anybody that tunes in, you know, so that this can bring, you know, awareness into your journey now. If you do happen to buy any type of, uh, you know, um, things from a box, I can't say food, <laughs> but there is food in the box. Uh, I mean, you know, it's, I guess in this scenario, but I do know this, especially with all the ingredients. I mean, it shouldn't have more than three ingredients, you know, but the main point I want to give you guys is that corn syrup is probably one of the most toxic substances you know that you can be that you can give anything because of the the nature of it it literally it wreaks havoc on the body and on a cellular level it, it is stored as fat so that this this is not something that you would spell out of your body this is something that literally builds up within it that's why you can look at you know our parents not even our parents you can look at older people that let's say when in their 40s when this uh you know, preservative box foods, you know, really start, you know, building up. Anybody that's on a dev, uh, diet that's heavy in that type of food, you can see a lot of debilitations when it comes to them. So, you know, perception is the key. You know, you, you know, a smart man learns from his own mistakes, but a wise man learns from someone else. If I see you walk across the street, and get hit by a truck, you best can believe I'm not walking behind you. No, <laughs> I'm walking the other way. So, again, it, you know, we have a lot of a lot of uh, pointers currently. Even though we might have this right here, you know, we can, we have a powerful tool, we have the internet, we have each other, we, we have so much, we have a plethora of information around us, so let's utilize that. So, again, the main point of hand I want to express is corn syrup anybody who if you again if you're eating any type of food you know that that's coming in a, a, a box of any nature make sure corn syrup is not a part of that because it's addicting it's extremely addicting if you look at Fanta any of these sodas the reason why your body craves these things is again because on a cellular level that corn syrup is changing the chemistry of your body so that it needs it and then that's not to mention the worms and you know etc that it promotes within the body it creates a lot of diseases within the body so corn syrup stay away from it you know and you're gonna trust me you guys we're gonna have people on our journey that try to negate your progress, you know? If I was to listen to those people that say, you know what, John, everything's bullshit. So you might as well just eat the bullshit. Well, you know what? I would probably be bullshit, but see, at the end of the day, everything's mind. And if you eat this with a sense of love and not lust, see, when you go after, and I know this because I've experienced it and I still do sometimes, when I go buy a box of Oreos, I'm not eating that box of Oreos. I'm scarfing it down like some addicted junkie. But this mango, I taste its succulent nature. Every morsel of it, I'm a part of it. I love it. We don't love this shit right here because we're usually just hungry. We throw it in the fucking, in the, in the trash. Get rid of that. I'm gonna pick that up, guys. I don't let it. <laughs> you know, it's usually, it's not the substance that we're after, it's the convenience. So these people who talk from that point of view, they're usually not focused on a sustenance, you know, perspective. They're focused on a convenience level, which is why, you know, these fast food restaurants and et cetera, they're so uh, abundant because it's the convenience. So guys, if you guys can take anything away from this corn syrup, stay away from it. Perspectives, have your own. Don't let nobody put their own on you. But that doesn't mean that you shouldn't be able to see it from the other side, you know? I'm glad that person brought that to me and told me that because it helped me see myself in another light, which was that a lot of this stuff is bad, but I gotta keep building, you know? I didn't identify what he said, but I was aware of it. I didn't tell him to shut the fuck up. I just said, you know what? Let me, let, sometimes you gotta just listen. You don't need a response. You don't need to respond to what everyone says. Just don't even say nothing, just look at them. Because naturally, they're going to keep expressing You know, if you keep letting someone talk, eventually they'll hear the stuff they're saying doesn't make sense. Or you'll get to a deeper part of them, you know, if you keep letting them express that. 
So some, sometimes we gotta, we gotta just be quiet, you know, let them talk. But most importantly, we gotta be at one with what we eat. And again, if you ask me, my pinky would be cut off. My pinky, not my arm. It's a process, guys. Nobody's, well, yeah, people might judge you, but at the end of the day, the person's judgment, the only person's judgment that matters is yourself because you know what's going on internally. So stay strong, guys. Keep pushing. Thanks for tuning in. You know, for anybody that's viewing this, subscribe because this is a journey that, you know, I feel that is really starting to resonate with me. I'm, you know, I'm really going to start investing in to YouTube on a, a bigger level. But right now, you know, I got other endeavors, you know, or streams of income that I must build up before, uh, before I build that up. The birds are talking to me. They probably want this man, but I might give it to them. You know, so uh, stay tuned, guys. Stay strong, and I'll see you guys next time.